Welcome, everybody, to another week of the eSports Arena Apex Legends tourney. I, I can't even remember. You know, it's just like quarantine. How much time has passed by and how many of these we've done so far? I'm James Jamerson Lee, and joining me once again is going to be Tug. This week, we have one of the most stacked lobbies. It's going to be a best of four, of course. The top teams, top three teams will be walking away with uh, our, you know, our share of $1,000, which has been our prize pool. And if you guys also want to contribute to that prize pool, I'm going to shell out early. Make sure you type in exclamation mark contribute. Go over to our Match Arena page and, uh, you know, throw our competitors a little money here or there. That'll be really nice. Exactly how do our competitors get points on the board today, Tug? Uh, just like it always has been. One point per kill, pretty typical, and then they're going to be getting additional points for where they do place in these four Apex Legends games. That'll be 12 points for first, 9 for second, 7 for three, and uh, going down from there. No need to rattle all those off. Like you said, top 10 teams from both of these two lobbies. We've got 32 teams coming on down to 20. Top 20, top 10 from both going to be competing here today. It's very fortunate for them that they kind of in the area. Get absolutely pushed, but Rocker doesn't care. He goes in. He's gonna give up his life. Rondon goes down for a second time. He's gonna bleed out a little quick here. Let's see if they can get into safety for that res. And it looks like they find a nice little pocket. Nice corner. Don't know exactly what Rondon was thinking there, but as soon as he gets up, Rondon goes right back down. Yeah, uh, you know, if this was not the Gibraltar who was down consistently, they'd be in a much better position. Because obviously, you pop out that portal. 100 damage very quickly here for Nasky. Yeah, Nasky. Trying to create the space right now, but again, it's just unrelenting pressure coming from that Thermal Station team right now. Rondon bleeding out quick. The next one, I think it's going to be like a 15 second bleed out. So, we'll see. He should have his bubble up and he has to instantly throw it down so he doesn't go down again. Actually, not going to opt to. Looks like the sniper fire has been abated for now. And that is nothing but luck here for our... He's lost some traps up. Electricity will punish anybody coming in this one. Little projectile action is I'm mad is looking to flank a little bit. Gets the shots in there from Mastiff. That looks like that's uh, yeah, that's one way to get rid of a couple members of the squad. <sighs> Now they do have to contend with this cost for now, so be a little bit careful, a little touch and go as they push forward now. The more traps are set up. How will be able to finish off the Noble on uh, Noble's on move, but they gotta be careful. There are squads still coming in from the north right now. It's a full three. It pulls away from Thermal Station hmm. proper and uh, pulls down to the south. So as we were on board with six earlier, that squad's barely happy right now. Uh, here we are with uh, RKN, Saucer, and Hill. They're the team that have just been, uh, you know, just a pain in everyone's ass so far in this game, getting some good poke off the entire time. Well, <clears throat> this positioning as well, got the high ground, they'll be popping off these shots consistently. All trainer usage, a little bit, uh, a little bit unexpected, but that's okay. Might just be using that for these longer range shots as it is, uh, that, you know, doesn't want to waste uh, ammo for other weapons, so. I see an enemy. Turn sniper fire here. Uh, they have no reason to be whatsoever, right? Hey, RKN. We've gotten two knocks already. That's going to be Nasky and Rondon out. It's all up to Kashera, and this spot has been so good for them so far. A lot of points to be able to put up in game number one. Moving on to the rest of the tournament. Port's out now. It's going to be lost. It's over to the crates, and it's just in. Mini with a nice spray. They will do some decent damage against another team. They are going to be sandwiched. Forced to take back their port now. They're going to keep an eagle eye on this as the round starts closing here. Again, they have to make sure that their nice. back is clear. They know exactly where this enemy's coming from. Good damage coming across, and the 11 hit from the Mastiff actually getting the knock. And that's going to be the McCarthy brothers going down, but now the pressure is on as they lose out on two. Now it might just be the full wipe squad. So very unfortunate, they had little cover to work with on board once again with Six, Nicewick and Bowser here on the western edge, able to just walk it in with the ring so far. They are slowly getting their way into the lane game now, but only 20 shots total here for Six. He does have the EVA 8 to work with. Yeah, they're hands down the best position here between resources, shields, health, everything else, and, and uh, the positioning really being the biggest thing here. They will set By up a little way, bit with this Watson. Imperial Hal is still alive right now, getting top four for his squad. Yeah, and so nicely done, actually. Yeah, they uh, not even dead quite yet. So 
as these two, as these three threesomes uh, go forth and get involved, might actually push one farther than that. So awesome stuff. Blue shields here for this trio as they're weighing their bets, seeing what's best, how to get out of this one best. Yeah. And so uh, we do have the team to the south, the team to the west. Now let's see exactly where Designful gentrifying are. And so they're actually right above them right now. And so they're going to have to drop down. And being able to play with that fence, Six and uh, Bowser and Nicewig are sitting in a really nice spot here because they don't have to pull any aggro right now. They can just wait for the other two teams to start fighting. Where is Hal in all of this? Hal is on the easternmost edge of the ring right now. I think Designful just spotted him out right there playing his life perfectly on that one. So, yeah, again, Apex Legends remains a game of positioning. We we'll see a lot of fire going off here. Now team sprinting in. Race for this last um, six years. I've been taking a lot from the circle. This is not a circle with a whole lot of cover on it. Yeah, Bird's gonna get that first nod, and again, it's just about a waiting game right here. No trades whatsoever. Finally, gentrifying ants are back, and that's what they're gonna go ahead and push the go button. Gibraltar bubble already down now, as it's down to the final three squads here as they push forward. Six on top of them with that EVA. Eight. To get the knock oh. to finish that off, and now they will be able to get that with five kill points on the board. Go for that north side factory if they so wanted to, but do they have that information? The important part right now is there we go. Spotted out taxi, it looks like they should be able to finish him off. Pick up this purple armor that Disciple really wants right now. Has to be careful, he will go down, but here comes Resulta right behind him now to finish him off. Already did decent damage to him, and it looks like they will. Able to find him soon. No, he's doing a good job of trying to get out now. Results on the hunt with gentrifying in tow. So, but it's going to be the Pathfinder able to use that grapple away. For Naughty and Protectful. Someone's got a gold armor on them. There we go. The push is coming out as Kashara also got involved in the fight now. Go ahead and back away. It's just the gold armor or gold knockdown shield. I'm keeping Making the now, so I'm surprised. Uh, it's, it's the simple presence of Kashari here that's, that's, there we go. They're going to be able to finish him off. That was stopping Complexity from finishing that off, but that's going to be uh, an entire squad going down. There is a solo there, but instead they're just going to go ahead and zip up and I think regain that position that they had earlier on. They were playing great. They are pinging to try and push. Uh, it looks like there's been a solo here. No, it's an entire squad on the other side of the fence now. Want to get these kill points as Kashara gets the knock on to Reptar. Complexity, this is what I was talking about. They can now push. They're going to be able to secure that kill onto Reptar, but it instantly back away. They don't need to overstep their bounds here. They play for this position now. Now moving along, a little bit closer to Harvester. Yeah, they've got the better of this fight already. There we go, the final kill onto Force. And just in time, too, as the ring is closing now, they'll be able to rotate. to the south now being able to get into uh involved in this fight from the third party now but we'll see how is the one feels like so he go. He'll go ahead and peek for himself with this race getting some decent damage off hold the map about now Relayli is oh. right behind him that's gonna be monsoon going down instantly thirsted and lou is finished off as well complexity out here the top 15 at the very least contact the target they're playing the crane right now, and uh, they've got this high ground here. They've already spotted out the portal. That was the team that kind of beamed Hal as he was getting out of that portal. But this is going to be a difficult one. I, I don't think any of part of this crane is actually in, and if it is, they're just going to be vulnerable on the edge of it. So they're sitting up trying and make a push for that roof. Uh, they can the pathfinder to work with. Uh, it's very close. Not to have. Uh, the zip line in time for this. They still have to watch their back though. Zip Never know. But uh, to put through this now. We should go this way. Took their time and now time is coming towards that end. Now they know where they want to go. Getting there will be a different story. They've done a great job by taking out these Watson poles. Uh, pretty much all the bases, uh, they have the ones left or ones they cannot see. Closing in, they only have a few seconds to make the decision, get the damage off the main. Oh, never mind. There we go. Drop it down, does not take some damage from the ring, but he's got that average out. Finish one off. That's gonna be a kill point, but during that.
that time, he's lost his two teammates. We'll be able to get the armor spot here onto that goal. And unfortunately, this split up did not have a game plan going into this. We're going to see six men taking out Castellos as it's Rogues and our. Excuse me. No, that is so confusing to say. But uh, Rogue will be able to take out one. And uh, that should be a As part of Geasis will try and get that thirst. Drop him down. That will be able to pick off the Zinefall. Do you want to uh, lose Rogue in that? Green team coming down here. Yeah, so there's really not going to be anybody to come through here. And last little bit of circle is a full squad, I do believe. Everybody coming through. They have time to get the heals off, but they have the uh, the space with which to do so. That'll be entirely shots inside. This Aces knew he was on the other side of this wall. Yeah, they were trying to press them as they were getting that res off. Uh, nice way back into this. They're going to be able to stabilize off. This is a 3v2 v1, I believe. Aid as the solo third squad here. Now is Prodigy Aces after that Wraith right now with that R9. Kind of loses track of him as he's forced into the void. Joey Blackout is trying to give chase. It looks like they're uh, going to be okay with this high ground now. As they understand that Nice was able to get fully up there. And so now it's going to be the full force of Nice Wig, Six, and Fire. Uh, Fire, formerly Fire Bowser, against Prodigy Aces and Joey Blackout. And like I had mentioned, Aid as the solo Wraith right now. So what, the team of three, team of two, and team of one, on paper we would know which way this goes, but really what it's going to be is who is able to play this last little slimmer of safe zone. Bottom, looks like they've got the damage they need. What the team of three does not need to do is take any damage coming into this whatsoever, so they'll at least take all of theirs from the circle. Knows there's only one point of exit. Can't quite tell where this ring will close, but it looks like... Yeah, they're gonna be fine there, and we we get a heal off. We get a heal off here. Unfortunately um, for Prodigy Aces, well, he does have the gold back. I can never heard. Excuse me, gold armor. Never mind. Works differently now. So it's just gonna be a standard heal off. Um, they don't have a Wraith. Excuse me, a Watson TP. So I want to see if Wig actually has his open up. Does it look like it? He's gonna go ahead and send him out, Ooh. try and get some damage off, and so that's gonna mess with the timing. And Aces, you cannot be healing right now. There we go, he's gonna cancel it just in time. And as they try to finish this off, Prodigy Aces tries to get the heal. It's gonna be Bowser to finish off Joey Blackout. Prodigy Aces into the void to try and extend nice. it for as long as possible. And they actually get it! What a play, Dream Team! Now we are going to go ahead and check in with our leaderboard right now. It's Team 6. That's Bowser 6. And of course, their third pickup of Nicewig. Currently sitting in first place with 34 points. Two impressive games in a row. Just behind them, though, in second place is going to be Team Aim Assist. We saw Gentrifying and Company really just laying down the law and getting a lot of kill points across the last two games as well. But it's Team Dream Team. Now, uh, I, I I don't know how I missed this, but yeah, Rogue is, uh, I believe, a content creator now for NRG. So it's been really interesting to really see his kind of uh, growth, uh, especially here on Twitch. He's, he, his stream has been popping off for the last two, three months now. So props to him, and especially seeing him getting picked up by another organization. He was on Liquid yeah. just before this. So getting signed to NRG, super awesome to see. Really happy, happy for you, but especially now doing well here in our tournament. Currently sitting in third place with 22 points. We got another controller team, controller sitting at 19 points as well. And RKN squad sitting at fifth right now and that's currently our top five so in the middle of the pack it's uh it's it's pretty even so far tug they are in the tunnels and it looks like tsm actually might make a push for bcj pushes up and there we go getting some decent damage off bcj on that watson who does have to back off here we've got these two bodies to really work with and so they don't really need to force the issue and they have a decent position inside the tunnel right now as uh, long as, of course, Shiny doing a good job checking his back right now as he spots one out. Gold armor on that Pathfinder. Has to be careful. He's going to be able to heal up as his team covers him. Blue armor, BCJ getting cracked now as Muffin pushes up. Bubble down now with the mast about. He's going to get the knock on to Nathan. NRG trying to push up, but an 84 hit coming out. Muffin playing with his bubble really well. It's going to be BCJ and Shiny pushing forward, finishing off Rex's, but I think it's TSM coming in for the flank right now as they have to back away. 
surviving with a sliver of HP, and it is TSM that were pressing the issue, but it looks like they don't want to completely commit to this. They will back away. They were not able to get that opening. Third party frag. Good call coming out from them as uh, Shiny Muffins and BCJ will be able to stabilize off of this. Uh, this is what we were talking about. How coming in. He's able to get the knock onto Rondon. Kashera already knocked. How picking up two there. He wants to try and get the thirst, but he has to instantly use that portal along with the Into the Void. Backing away as he needs to get his shield back up. Rondon will get finished off by Gentrifying, so he's going to be able to pick up that now. Hal sitting on three kill points himself. So, uh, what Hal here is kind of dancing around with that uh, shield cell because with the gold shield, of course, you get twice the effect from it. Really just way better to conserve resources at this point, especially given that your syringes, your other health seem to be a little bit lower. So, I need the rest of that value from his teammate's ultimate. Or that is, yeah, that is his teammate's... I believe, do you believe that's reps? Uh, if not, that would be amazing if he was able to, you know, take up the opponents here. But given the, uh, the Watson pulls here, don't think that's anybody else. I do believe that's his teammates. Ooh, was that the... No. And so, they do have one more squad right above them right now as Hal pushing up. He got some decent damage off with that. Thermite gives some information about where exactly they are. But again, not going to force the issue. They've got great armors right now. Two gold, one on Avril Abley, one on Hell, and purple on reps. And they have a great side of the circle really to work with. The big issue is going to be to their east right now, which is where they're going to go ahead and change it up and uh, try and spot out. I believe this is going to be Shiny Muffins and BCJ in front of them right now. Liquid, though, getting into a big fight, able to pick up a few kills here. Imperial House tries to push forward, but has to back off because of that nade. And take a look, the ring does pull onto them and so this is going to be the most important part making sure their north and their east are cleared out before this ring closes how will go ahead and pop that portal now pushing for the north hand squad and they have to end this fight quickly and cleanly here so how will go ahead and lay down that portal bringing over the rest of this team you know, waits for teammates for there for a second before getting involved but uh the teleportation back is the best position they could possibly ask for. They have so much watts and capabilities and a lot of electri electricity just pumping through this area. They have the ultimate down, they can come back for a little bit of heals, and a very long sight line to their right right now where we see how looking at it. Yeah, we're down to eight squads now. Red Evo Shield, that reps getting that upgrade on that. And again, you're seeing Imperial Hal making sure that he's keeping an eye on his east. He's got shiny McCarth uh, shiny muffins and BCJ, I believe, over there. Let me actually double check that position. No, actually, that is a different squad. Okay, surprisingly enough, not entirely too sure who that is then. The pinch As, happens. Uh, yeah, shiny uh, muffins and BCJ actually on the south side of the ring. Currently. Here we go. The ring is going to close. It's Team Liquid on the north side of TSM right now. Nah, they're the ones being gate kept here. They might actually run into Prodigy Aces if uh, they spot him out. Is he still in that hidey hole? I believe he might quite be. He is. And yeah, Liquid is right in front of him now, but he can walk in with this circle. There's an Arc Star on him now. You see them coming out from Liquid. He's going to use that into the void to dodge the damage for now. And it's Casper taking damage from above. Has to be careful. A lot of trades going down. TSM losing reps along with Avril Lately here. They're going to get thirsty off. That's going to be the Alan Strike to fly for now. Prodigy Aces does have to go in. He will go down. He does have that gold knockdown shield as Casper just trying to finish off this kill here. We're seven squads remaining. He needs to get this for his squad. Get the armor spot as well. Now he's getting pressured here. Getting decent damage off. Only connecting one wingman shot actually. We're on board with Boost. Frankie and helping here, who basically has been holding this spot the entire time now. Over to their west, I believe that's going to be shiny and up in on the high ground. No good. Damn it, Frankie getting the knock on to the nine pool. We're down to four squads here, 11 players remaining. The knock on to high shiny now. And with the ring, they have all of the priority here to try and pick up kill points along with the win. Yeah, look at this circle, right? It is perfectly right along this where the ground starts to get a little bit elevated. That is fantastic positioning. Really, they're just going to have, uh, what, that, that's, uh, I believe, one last player there. Okay, yeah, so this last squad, that's Johnny McCarthy and come, uh, the, to the McCarthy brothers, excuse me, falling on that one. One was still down, but had the self revive. That was the only reason why his squad came in. They're going to get rewarded with that fourth place finish, but this is Frankie helping, and gosh, 
really, really good position right now. So three, two, one, once again. <laughs> I mean, we, we saw the three, two, one in the last game. But uh, this time around, I don't know. I don't think we might have to worry about that kind of heal off situation here way. because, well, we don't have the elevation to work with it. It's going to be, of course, just an absolute black test here. Go ahead, side. As Bronzy and Casellos are trying to come in, they've got to do the work, but the Bronzy gets cracked now. Has to back off as the zone is closing in. What a terrible time for it. Take that damage. He will get done. He tries to swing on it. And Oops. Gonna be able to get the knockout to sell as they finish that off. And man, they will be able to get that. It looks like they will be able to get the win. Huge game coming out for helping Moose and Frankie. Nine kill points along with the win. Uh, nine kills. I think they got probably got what five of those, maybe even six there towards the very end with that last little circle and that huge bit of mountain to their right, taking up uh, a lion's share of that remaining space. So really negating the uh, lanes that remaining teams could come through there after that uh, really, really southways circle. Esports Arena Apex Legends North American Tournament. Now we are, like I said, it's the conclusion. It's game number four, and it's all coming down to this. And it is such a tight race. We got Team Aim Assist currently in first place with 39 points. Team Six now dropped down to second place with 35. And then we have the boys in third with 33. But it is not anyone's secured game at this point. The middle of the pack still here to battle it out. And as you can see, we do have one team missing. Team Noble is going to go ahead and bow out. But it's done. It looks like CLQ is going to have to get a lot more shots like that to to stay alive just like that though first squad out unfortunately and i mean like you said they, maybe it's the fire around that, that uh, just gets everybody aggressive Aspie though is the only one alive here in the fight against the last few days now he pushed the ball he's got to be loading the hard night but he will fall and that is going to be their early exit for them so Fide now putting up three points here gonna be sitting at uh I, I believe great ultimate but just for it to get paired with a equally good one on the other side that team mostly able to get away from them again except for a minute and our team is back on sorting factory as is tradition no reason to believe anything else you're taking up one member oh. of of course green team pair but they lose nathan for that even getting tracked by that archer has to be careful it's team liquid so they don't want to stick around here they've got the beacon they're gonna be able to get the armor swap but the thermite buys him in just enough time to get whatever loot he needs and back away. Now, there is an opportunity for them to try and get Nathan back into this. There are still respawn beacons they can work with on the eastern edge, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like they'll have the opportunity to actually do that. There are so many teams here on the outskirts. Yeah, so the respawn beacons all, aren't always some spot, obviously, but it seems that we might have I've seen some teams that have utilized that themselves so far. A lot of uh, a lot of flack here for NRG. This is them and Team Liquid have shown a lot of value in just simply choosing their fights coming back when they need to. Now we do have the fight, of course. Complexity now down to two members pushing up as they pop down with that Eva Eight. The and an upgrade that armor back on top now. But again, they're getting peppered away at, and I don't think you want to commit your economy into this. Spotted. No, definitely not. I mean, Pow Pow, it's actually kind of an interesting defending. setup. Not one but two heavy weapons, not a single heavy mag for either one until he picked up that level one. Um, had the Hemlock, he'll be getting able to get off da damage with that, but the close range stuff will be the wingman through and through. Now over with Team Liquid, have dropped the player. Not exactly sure when that happened though, Jamerson. Right now, Joe, getting some decent damage across. Now, Complexity able to finish off RKN, Hill, and Saucer. Out, not turn all though. Decent damage now with this flat line. As this would be huge for them to be able to recover any of that armor, but they don't know if they have a full clear here. They are gonna go ahead and push together as a duo. Never mind. It's uh flanker pushing down the stairs, but Nocturnal's got a decent eye over energies. Frex is still alive, as uh, he might actually run into liquid here. Now, playing the corner here, uh, I, I, my professional advice is you sit back, you'll have a bad time to try and push that one. Back on over TSM. Source of continue action. Very conservative uh, portal coming up for them just to try and recover that loot as well, but they've got positioning here. What an interesting pull coming out there. Ring going over to the east side. 
told you to do this or just a little bit, I would say, towards where that bed is. TSM, just need to look at this outside now. Good damage coming across. Hal, gonna go ahead and toss out those nades. They don't get any damage off of it. He does back away, he doesn't wanna leave himself vulnerable out in the open for far too long there as Lou will finally finish off Brexit. So how interesting is this, right? I said the smoke stack was perfect. Now we see a circle that is almost the exact same circumference as our smoke stack area, but literally just offset so there's not a single square inch of that smoke stack is inside. We'll be seeing a team TSM with a wholesale move as we see COL and how they choose to position this coming into our last our number uh, six round. There might be a small hit at that side. Smile though, in dire straits, hitting with uh, 70 HP less than a potential bird that will come in to finish them off. Smile will be forced out of this lobby. A little poggies now though. The Niles is out fourth. He's gonna try and heal up, but he gets dropped on, gets taken out. No more is stuck in this corner. We'll be able to get full heal. He's the only one alive. It's gonna be team the aim assist, picking up more kills. Currently, they are sitting on five kill points, maintaining their lead currently. There's a lot of squads left here for our round number six assumption into final form. 15 seconds to so that will be there. We're designed for results on gentrifying. They have a task ahead of them. Into action. That's not so. As the ring closes in, the ninth and gentrifying are in. The trench now dodging some nades as yeah, they are going to try and close this out. They're so close to reaching the top three. That would almost guarantee it, but now they're getting pushed as Judge Spy is going to be able to arm and stop design for pulling out on top with that Avic pass to be cut over. He's getting pressure from the top now. Drops on down. He will fall, and it looks like they will get cleaned up. So much as uh, we see on the ground. This is a naughty GS bird and protectful playing on the other side of this bridge here. As uh, taking a look, how many kills do they have? Six between the three of them. Yeah, not a bad performance whatsoever. And there's still two other squads here. At least one is not that full form though. Uh, decent positioning down here. Stalled those squads have it, but the angle here on the left side and other squad is really going to be the game changer for this trio. Now it is a full 3v3, two squads remaining here. We might have a heal off, we'll see. It's gonna be Protectful, Naughty, and Bird on the middle level, but right above them, Pow, Vaxxon, and Madness are currently sitting on four kills for themselves. So we'll see. So they do have that high ground to work with. They've got the vantage point of the headshot glitch they work to really try and take advantage of. Gold armor, excuse me, uh, never mind. It's the red Evo on Vaxlon here. So they do have the opportunity. They've also got the ring pulling away from the bridge. And so they have the slow side of the circle. So question, do you think this bridge is too thick that Narkstar would not transmit damage through? He did at one point through walls and more, but uh, that might be a defining factor here. It does go through. Wait, never mind. I got muted. I thought the ring was pulling away. Uh, yeah, this from... is a dead center bridge. Yeah. Right? There's something. UI element. I don't know what exactly it is that was telling Pretty you that sure it was dead center out. bridge. But, uh, yep, we'll see. It is, of course, Amanda's back on and Pow sitting up top. And I'm not entirely too sure. I don't think they have a chance to win this out, but again, you want to get that at least game victory in. So, not the strongest performance coming out from them, but if they can get this win here, that'd at least be a nice feather in the cap just to close out the night. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to be said for the uh, foot is put forward when you have a performance like that, even though that doesn't necessarily matter, you know, uh, points-wise, because I believe, again, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe on paper they're going to be outside of that running so far. Madness and company here just trying to get off a little bit of damage. Uh, and, yeah, and again, there's not really any reason for them to drop down quite yet. Or not even really quite yet. Probably just go off for the heal off, right? And they have a Wraith, but she, she has her ultimate. Obviously not going to pop that ability as they come in. Or until they come in, I guess, yeah. Yeah, they've got the Gibraltar to work with as well, and so they can go for the fast heal. Uh, excuse me, I, I meant on the other side for Protectful, Naughty, and Bird. So there's an opportunity for them to actually use that fast heal to uh, win out 
in the in the oh, heal. Yeah. So yeah, with a purple shield and the red, there's no gold. Shield. There's no opportunity to even uh, come through and have the fast, uh, you know, the fast uh, syringes and whatnot. Interesting. I'm going for all the way low here. Coral coming out from them, just setting it up. 30 seconds remaining before this ring closes. And uh, yeah, the ring will go ahead and pull away from the bridge as well. So that's what I was seeing is actually the final ring. That was what was on the UI. Okay, got it, I think. I think I'm with it, yeah. So seven seconds or so, Madness, Action, and Pow Pow are gonna have a lot of action popping off here in just a second, a couple seconds. No reason to jump off quite yet, unless you just want to take them by surprise. Back up and down, trying to clear uh, the water trap now, but already going down. The wall throws now. So bad for Madness. It wasn't enough. Now he's gonna get finished off, and that will be stay naughty and protectful. And heard closing out game number four with ten kill points. So decent effort, but I don't know if it was enough to get within the top three. So your top three for the day coming in third place is gonna be Team Six with thirty-six points. And now you control the players are going to be happy here because in our top two, we got controller <laughs> taking second with 41 points and team aim assist when you get all out 500 big ones going into their pocket with 51 points. So congratulations to them. You guys did a fantastic job today and represented the uh, controllers uh, controller community really well today. Thank you all. And now I'll see you guys for ALGS this week. And that's going to do it for us. We're going to go ahead and just end the stream now. But congratulations to, of course, our three winners. And, of course, um, everyone who won our giveaway as well during this wait. Sorry it took so long. But, yeah, that's yeah, going to do it for us. Make sure, of course, that you guys are following all of our social media accounts because we will be doing more of these events. And there are other games that we do events for. So, so make sure you're following Esports Arena on Twitter. And make sure, of course, you're checking in on our Match Arena page. Well, that's going to do it for us. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a good night.